that is a tribute to everybody who was a part of this institution before I got here and authentic words of gratitude for everybody who was with me standing arm to arm, hip to hip, sometimes with paint all the way up to our elbows, um, having a joyful, thoughtful, important time. This was what I would call my first major project on the campus here at the Cummer, was raising the money, coming up with a plan, and implementing that plan around this gorgeous space. This space has been my classroom, both when I was an educator, then a director of education, and really even today as its outgoing director, we're more successful than we've probably ever been. You know, attendance is higher than it's ever been. Our donors have been more generous. We have more members and more people participating. Our spaces are more beautiful. Um, our gardens are more sustainable. So there's a lot to celebrate. But we've also had to do some very unsexy things, the kinds of things that keep a place running. And you've helped us do that. We've repaired every roof. We've repointed every brick. We've replaced every window. We redid parking lots, restrooms, and even widened sidewalks. It's the wedding of those unsexy things and those very sexy things that are setting this museum up for a very, very bright future. The concept behind all of this is about turning the museum inside out. It's about making sure that whether you actually walk through the doors or not, you, no matter who you are, have the ability to access great art, beautiful spaces, and one another. And that's really what this energy on the front lawn of the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens today is really all about. And when I look around the space and I look at the paint and the paper and the clay, and I smell the ink, it brings back such beautiful memories. So this space represents, I think, the core of this institution. And it's about engagement. I've tried to lead, but I have never hesitated jumping in and being in the weeds or in the paint, if that's what it required. And it's been great to be able to be a part of all of that. It's fun to remember the, the art that we brought in and um, the gardens that we created together, the money that we raised to do the work we needed to do, but it's really, um, I think the people that are gonna stick with me. I've had the opportunity as director to be that steward for seven years and to try to live up to the high standards that Mrs. Cummer set for all of us. And I think she'd be happy. I mean, where else can you gaze at the old masters and then walk out and stand under an incredible oak tree unlike any that you've ever seen and then gaze beyond that to the mighty St. John's River? It's pretty special. My greatest hope is that the little bit of work I've done here over the last 22 years that that work is so in the DNA of the institution that it not only continues, but gets better as people continue to build on it. So the museum has embraced beautifully and fully the idea of living artists, of contemporary ideas. And there's one special example in the space in which we're standing, a work um, by Whitfield Lavelle, this national treasure of an artist that we were able to bring here both in person and through his work. And the show resonated deeply within the community. And it was one of the most important exhibitions I've had a chance to be a part of. In fact, it was so important, we did something unusual. We decided to actually try to purchase a work from the exhibition to stay at the Cummer forever. And the community actually stepped up to help raise the money to make that happen. And I do think the museum has made huge leaps in making sure we are fully representative of all the communities that we wanna be a part of. Beautiful, y'all made my day. You really, I'm serious, you made my day, thank you.
And so that moment's special because it's, it's authentic, it's real. It's of the second in which it happened. And um, gosh, there's, just, there's been a lot of those. And there will continue to be a lot of those. Can art be the thing that helps us to feel something, feel an issue, not just think about it up here? I mean, yeah, we want to be intellectually engaged in hard questions, but we also want to feel what another person thinks. We want to understand what it, empathy is. We want an opportunity to leap into someone else's experiences. And I happen to be one of those people that thinks art just might be the only way <laughs> to truly do that. Um, it takes us beyond the headlines and the statistics, and it takes us beyond a us and them attitude to the, uh, towards the world. It, it, it really, truly helps us see and when everyone, anyone, can stand in a room with another person and say, I see you, that may just be where every solution lives. And I've seen it happen in this museum day after day, and I've seen the power of that. So yes, I happen to think that museums can lead social change. I think the comer is going to be great because the people engaged in it are great. There are very deep roots um, to this institution within the community. It's a, it's a place um, that people respect. who hope is without the comer, uh, I still have to discover. And so what's next, I don't know the specifics, but I know, I just know, that the arts are gonna sit in the belly of it. The idea of trying to change and build community is gonna be my motivation. Needing to be around people and I mean all kinds of people, uh, art, community, beauty, um, human rights. Um, and I just think when those things come together, there are such special things that happen. I have such appreciation for the students who have come through the doors the teachers who thought this was important for their kids, for families that wanted to use the museum as a place to connect, to donors and sponsors who said, this matters. In fact, it matters so much, we want to be a part of it. I'm grateful to volunteers who give so fully of themselves in this museum, some of them leading tours, some of them being an extra pair of hands during our disability programs, some of them who are helping to lead and guide the museum as trustees. And it's a great staff. It's a staff of pros, of people who know what they're talking about. They know what they're doing. Truly thankful not to just be able to walk these halls, but to have worked with learned from and been inspired by such an amazing, diverse, dynamic group of people. Uh, so to each one of you, however you got engaged with the comer in the past two decades, I thank you.